All right, we're going to be taking a look at this half inch drive torque wrench set that was sent to me at no charge for this review. Really nice little torque wrench here. And so we're going to make sure that all of our lug nuts are torqued down. Now a lug nut should be torqued to somewhere between 80 and 90 foot pounds. So I'm going to show you how to do that here today. First thing I want to show you here is the torque wrench itself and then all of the sockets that go with it. These are called short sockets. They're not the deep well sockets. And then you've also got a half inch drive. Uh, extension bar here. So to set a torque wrench you got your foot pounds on this side on the other side you've got your newton meters so we're going to be setting it to foot pounds and we're, we need it to be somewhere between 80 and 90 foot pounds. To adjust your foot pounds you're going to pull this locking ring right here down and it's going to allow you to rotate to whatever foot pounds you need. So we need to be between 80 and 90 pounds and I just want you to see here that on one side you got 81.3 and then it moves up to 88.7. Then you got all these numbers down here around the ring and these numbers are going to just add one to the digit here. So if you got an 81.3 and you lock it right here on the one that's going to be 82.3 and then if we move it to the two it's going to be 83.3 and then if we move it to the three it's going to be 84.3 what you're doing is taking that number there and adding three to it and then that's going to take you all the way up to the nine so we're just going to go ahead and set this at the 88.7 right there just like that and we're going to back it up to the zero and now we're sitting right at the 88.7 then we're going to take our half inch drive socket which is going to be maybe a 19 here and i got a 17 19 21 22 and 24. as i tighten it it's going to click when it's at 88.7 foot pounds now if you listen there's the click and we're going to check our front tire and by the way once this is locked in place it's not going to move your ring will move but you're not going to adjust the foot pounds or the newton meters so that's how it works and it's real important that you do have your lug nuts torqued to specs and you want to check these on a regular basis especially if you've taken your lug nuts off uh, you want to make sure that after about a hundred miles you go back and make sure that they're retorqued. Now you could go to a shop and have them torque it for you, but if you've got your own torque wrench, it's gonna save you time, it's gonna save you a little bit in the pocket, and it's also gonna save you a little bit of headache. These things are super nice. I definitely recommend them. I've wanted one of these for a super long time, and now I've got my own, and you can do the same. This half inch drive torque wrench has a durable hard case keeping your wrench and sockets in one place and it's convenient if you're limited on storage space. The set is made of durable chrome vandium steel for strength and longevity and it complies with the ISO GB and ASME standards guaranteeing both precision and quality. The torque ranges from 20 to 210 newton meters or 14.75 to 155 foot pounds which is going to be plenty of torque for most vehicle specs on the engine mounts suspension brake systems axle nuts and lug nuts in the package you get five different short sockets ranging from 17 millimeters up to 24 millimeters and you get one half inch drive extension bar